Hey guys, now that we have been looking at some ways that you can create ostinatos and counter melodies, it's time to start looking at using atmos atmospheres in your track. And this is gonna be a short little video, but I quickly wanna demonstrate how I approach creating atmospheres, for example, for uh, piano chords. So I just record these four simple chords here, and I'm gonna create some atmospheres for it. Uh, let's just have a listen to it first. That's it. So this little chord progression is in the key of A minor. Or you can also call it, say that it's in the key of C major. So when I want to create some atmospheres, you can either choose to have them follow the chords or you can create some kind of pedal note like drone, like I've been explaining in the harmony chapter. And that's personally my favorite way of doing it. So even though I'm not using a low bass drone, I can create like a higher one, for example, like this. And just have it stay there throughout the entire chord progression. And that alone is going to give it like a really nice atmospheric effect. So let me just demonstrate that first. Simple like that, it already sounds a lot better. Now, the thing is, you don't really need much more than that. But here you can just experiment and do whatever you want. Add more layers, add some more in interesting things like reverb tails and whatnot. However, like the key to finding a good note is to try to see which note is existing in every chord. So in this case, it's C. Because this one, it you see it goes through here, it's here. And you can also find it in the lower octaves, like this one. This is a C, and this is also a C. So the note C, it, it exists in every single uh, one of these chords, which makes it a good choice to stay like as a pedal note throughout the entire chord progression. Now that I've been doing that, I'm going to see if I have any other nice pad things going on here. Like, for example, this one. I can add this in the background as well. Now let's see what other stuff we can do to make it a bit more interesting as well. As well, Something I like to do is to take an element and use a reverb on it to make it a lot more atmospheric, even make the reverb 100% wet so we can only hear the reverb and making the tail long so whatever sound you put into it, it's gonna get out as a long, like washed out pad. So actually let's just try that with a random patch here. Let's just try, take, actually we have a th trill here. Let's take this and create some kind of pad out of it. And I'm just going to go in through the basics here, but most of this is just pure experimentation, experimentation, just playing around with sounds and slapping different effects on them and seeing what works. But I will likely, we will likely go more in depth in sound design things at a later point or in a different course. Now you can just follow along whatever I do. Yeah, I like the um, intensity of the ending a bit more, so I'm just gonna do it like that and make it stay like that the entire time. Now, it doesn't really work that well 
as it is right now, but I actually want to do something called uh, render in place, which is gonna make this into an audio file that I can work with, which is something I really recommend whenever you're doing sound design stuff to work with audio whenever you can. Next, I'm gonna go here and reverse this one. Let's see how it sounds. Yeah, it's not that different, but now I want to use my favorite reverb for this kind of stuff with which is Valhalla Room. Um, I'm gonna take off the pre-delay, make it a long decay with a lot of depth. Yeah, you can hear the difference here. What I could also do now is to duplicate this and take the duplicate of this and take it like one octave down. Let's see, pitch shift, one octave process. And it sounds like this. This is nice atmosphere, so any sound source you want, you can just slap like a long uh, reverb on it. Let's hear how this sounds together with the piano and the atmospheres in the background. I want to push it up a little bit. Another thing that I like to do to create a nice atmosphere is to take the um, strings, like some soft strings like this, also creating a kind of pedal note. So let me just record that. So as you see, you can just experiment and see what you come up with. Try to use some synths. So what I've been using here is, uh, for this one, I've been using the Photosynthesis 1 by Audio Imperia. And another library I often use for this kind of stuff is Omnisphere 2. So I've been using two patches from the Photosynthesis library together with the giant piano. And I've simply been adding like Hollywood strings, little string drone, like this. Together with like a trill from the Hollywood Woodwinds library. And I've just been uh, reversing it, exporting its audio, and then adding a long, long reverb to it. Giving it this kind of pad effect. This is something, you, again, you can do with more or less any audio source. You can record something yourself, or you can take any of your existing libraries. Let's just listen to the final result now, in the end here. Now let's listen to only the piano, how much bo more boring it is. And with the backgrounds. And let's listen to only the backgrounds. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I really like doing this kind of stuff whenever I have any piano chords 
And this is an effect you that works especially well either like as the intro to a track. Like this could be a great intro to a piece. But it also works really well for like let's say a bridge. Like a calm middle section of your track before you just keep building it again until the climax of your track. So this is a really effective technique that you can use to really spice up your piano chords, for example, and to create nice intros and even outros. This is really like a nice technique for outros as well, creating a nice atmospheric effect to wrap up your piece. And it's really fun because you can do a lot of things, create pads from the strangest sounds. So it's a lot of fun to do and the results are really nice. So I hope this has been helpful and Again, share the results with us in the discussion and feedback section of this chapter. I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. So good luck and I'll see you in the next video.